So this is Luca, hey guys. our escort here, and here's the suitcases. Everybody's bringing them on. Hi. There's Steve. Everybody's coming. Well, everybody glad to be to Rome. Hey. Finally. On Rome. <laughs> We've got another batch coming this afternoon around 4 o'clock, and then we're all going to go to Mass together, but we're here. First group has arrived. There's Russ. He can't believe he's in Rome. There's St. Peter's right up there. St. Peter's Basilica. We're now getting off our buses. We have two of them. And we are going to the Holy Spirit Church. The Spiritus Sancto Insacia. And we're going to, it's a Divine Mercy Church here. And we're going to have Mass there and some time for prayer and then out to dinner. Both groups have arrived on the planes and uh, this is now 90 people going through Rome with us for the three-day extension. Our opening hymn is number, it's on page five if you have it, Come Holy Ghost, just one verse. These are the relics of Sister Maria Faustina. Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of this sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of this sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of this sorrowful passion. Have 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we owe you the body, but the soul and the divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And in the name of Father Christ and in those of the whole world. <laughs> this is an incredible restaurant, Benedito's. Benito's, I should say. Benito's. Everybody's having a good time. The uh, wine is all part of the meal. When the one bottle gets empty, they bring more. And they all thought this was the main course, and they ate it all, not realizing this is still another appetizer. There was bread, and then salads, and then soup, and then pasta. <laughs> and uh, the main course hasn't even got here yet. Let's say ciao to Steve. Steve. Ciao, baby. All this right. It's a great dinner, isn't it? Great Delicious. dinner, great Thank dinner, great so start much. to uh, three days in a row. Absolutely. And then John entered and he saw and he believed. Now we have to translate it into our modern understanding, what we know. If we take this gospel series, if we take the item series, which we know about, I mean, which are connected to the resurrection and to the grave, which is the Shroud of Turin and the, the Sudarium, if you take the structure of the grave series, if you take the hour series, very early in the morning, and the light series, then it unfolds like this. They came to the grave. John and Peter. Now we have to understand, to them it was they were believing Jews. Entering grace was not an easy thing. I mean, you know about the division of Kosher and Trevon, of the ritual purity. And nothing is so impure for believing Jews than anything connected to a grave. So, to hazard, it was natural hesitation that they did not enter immediately the grave. John stopped. But Peter, he was under shock. Peter, we have to bear in mind, just some hours ago he said, I don't know this person. It was Peter. It was not anybody. I mean, it was not anybody of us. He said, Peter said, I don't know this person. And then he had heard what happened to him. I mean, from very far he was even too, too much a coward to be close to believe. He had not been at the crucifixion. He had not witnessed as John had, and as Mary Magdalene had, and as Mary had. Now he was, as I said, still under shock, he entered the grave immediately. And then it said he saw the cross laying there. But everybody who knows, who was aware of the situation of the grave in Jerusalem, which has not altered until today, knows the grave without candles, without a light pipe, you don't see anything. Not at least when it's very early in the morning or when it was dark. And you couldn't see, so you could only feel. Had half lost. the group headed for home, and the other half had a great day in Rome. Everybody arrived safely. We got all settled in, had a great dinner, and we're looking forward to another great day tomorrow.